Hello everybody, I'm Chris Provost and you're watching Provost Park Pass and right now I am in Cars Land and I did a video a while ago asking you if you guys wanted an updated secret to build of Cars Land and boy howdy, you did you. So let's do a whole secret to build here at Cars Land. All right guys, as you see there's a little bit of holiday decor because we're here in the holidays so I'm filming this video. Let's talk about Cars Land. Cars Land opened on June 15th, 2012. Cars Land was part of a $1.1 billion renovation they did for Disney California Adventure. Radiator Racers Springs, that racing car thing that I can't have a hard time saying. Radiator Racers. Radiator, Radiator Springs Racers. Radiator Racers Springs. The Radiator Racers is right there. Radiator Racers, the car is right. Radiator Springs. Radiator Racers. Radiator Racers. Radiator. <laughs> what has such a hard time with that word? Radiator Springs. That cost 200 million alone. Just the, the ride by itself of 200 million, making it the most expensive attraction at that time. Can you believe that? It's amazing. It is about almost a little over 12 acres of cartastic fun. So what was that Cars Land before it was Cars Land? It was the Timon parking lot and a little bit of the Bount of a Valley farm made it into Cars Land as well. So one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna splice in some of the older footage um, of the original video I did here. So that way you can see what uh, Cars Land looks like without all the holiday stuff in here. So I'm gonna kind of go back and forth. Plus, we'll see what it looked like five years ago. Dang gum, 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 dang gum. This is probably, I think, one of the wet, best and most wealthy uh, lands in all of Disney. But it comes at a little bit of a price. We'll talk about that later on. In this particular land, you've got three attractions, right? You got Mater's Junkyard Jamboree, Luigi's Wallachin Roadsters, Radiator Springs Racers. Now, Cars Land is based off of Route 66. Route 66 is a road that would go through, uh, you know, America. And it is very indicative of a time where people go on family vacations or drive along and see roadside attractions on Route 66. This here is almost an exact little replica of things you'd see at Route 66, except they made an exception because do you know what's not really on Route 66 very much? Trees. Hardly any trees because most of Route 66 goes through the desert. But the Imagineers knew that when they opened up this land, it's going to get very hot during summertime and people would need places to sit under shade. So they planted lots of trees here in Cars Land. Other than that, it's kind of like exactly how Route 66 is. Just no trees. No trees. Now it's kind of hard to imagine this, but during the summertime, because you see all the winter decorations, the, it's this brand new asphalt. So during the summertime, it can get quite hot during the day here in Cars Land. Uh, so I would recommend coming early in the morning or coming in the evening. Cars Land at nighttime is absolutely awesome. I was going to say bananas, but I thought that might have a negative connotation. It's amazing, but it is absolutely amazing. Little kids, you have to come here. They have to bring your little kids here to Cars Land. Absolutely. All right, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about Radiator Springs Racers. I have a hard time saying that. We're gonna walk down here for the Radiator Springs Racers. Now, if you have the little ones, you absolutely have to ride this ride, but the line is gonna be very long. There is a thing called Lightning Lane, an individual Lightning Lane, I-L-L, -L, the ill, where you go in, you can buy a ticket, and it's per, it's yeah, it's anywhere from between seven and $20 per person. So it could be kind of pricey, but it lets you kind of skip right to the front of the line. Uh, it's really good. Or get here very early in the morning and ride it first thing in the morning, like rope drop and get it right in the morning. You'll be able to ride it um, not too much along the line. Be aware that it's gonna probably be about anywhere from 45 minute to uh, 80 minute wait, maybe longer during the summertime, 
if you don't have the individual lightning lane, but it is awesome and you have to ride it. The ride first starts off almost like a little dark ride, like the little Snow White's Adventure or Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, very slow, calming. You go on the outskirts of Radiator Springs, then the ride takes you inside Radiator Springs where you get to meet various characters from the movie Cars. Eventually, the track will split. If you go to the left, you're gonna go in Luigi and get a new set of tires for your race car. If you go to the right, you go to Ramon's paint shop and then your car will be painted brand new for your new race. As you come out, Doc Hudson's gonna give you some personal advice right before the race starts. Then, you're off and going, woo! As you race through Radiator Springs, you will reach a top speed of 40 miles an hour. That's faster than Space Mountain. Can you believe that? 40 miles an hour. Each car costs about a little bit over a quarter of a million dollars. They're run by a computer navigation system, and on top of that, they use real tires. The tires have to be replaced after so many laps. I can't find out how many laps they have to do to replace tires, but their code is very strict. The second the tire starts to show any wear or tear, boom, they replace it. There it is, Ornament Valley. All right, so now I'm gonna take you here into Luigi's Rock and Roller. Uh, I have a hard time saying it. Luigi's Rock and Roller. Luigi's Rock and Roller. Uh, Luigi's Rock Roller. Uh. There are five different songs on Luigi's Rock and Rollers. Wait, Rock and what? I apparently say the name wrong every time. How do you say it? It's Luigi's Rollick and Roadsters. Rollick and Rollsters. Bro, I said it wrong again. Let me just read it to you. <laughs> I always say it wrong. Here we go. Luigi's Rollickin' Roadsters. Now, this is a really fun attraction if you have little ones, but I want to show you some cool things in the line that most people don't notice. There's, when the line gets super long, well, sometimes you have to get able to come over here, um, but I got permission to come here and show you this, because this is just jam-packed full of cool things, paraphernalia that you just don't really notice. So I'm gonna try to show you some of all this, all right? So you'll notice that right here, it says, thanks chaps, keep out of trouble. This is from Finn McMissile from Cars 2, which is absolutely amazing. So there is a reference here to Cars 2. You see it says Barsco, different name. Tex gave, a, Tex gave an autograph right there. 20,000 leaks under the sea. Look at all this cool stuff. You can see Sarge's surplus hut. Look at all this. All of it is just an absolutely amazing cool. This is one of my very favorite things. You can see the little Mickey ears right there on Lightning McQueen. How cool is it? And then this is like dirt and tire tracks, tires from the different um, races that Lightning McQueen's been in. Yeah. Look at this. Fastest pit stop ever, Lightning McQueen. Sign that light year. This is an autograph from the Queen. Look how cool this is. These have so much stuff here. Just take your time and take a look at it. Now, this is my very favorite autograph of all time. Let's see if I can read this. You two is fast as lightning, not my best friend lightning in the sky type lightning, which is even faster, though that kind of lightning ain't allowed in a race unless that race was in the sky. Anyway, you is fast, Mater. <laughs> Look how cool this is. Finland. Take your time and come through here and just check everything out. There's so much to see here. I love all this. Okay, cast number just blew my mind. I thought I knew everything. Okay, there's four panels here. One, two, three, four. And they're all for different stages of what Luigi likes. The first part is all about Italy, because it's from Italy, right? And I've showed you like on the neon lights and other videos how to go you know, from green, white, and red for the Italian flag. This is for Italy. This here is because Luigi also loves um, a Radiator Springs. So it's right here for Radiator Springs, okay? And then this part here, of course he loves who? Lightning the Queen. So this is all about Lightning the Queen. And then this last one over here is for the World Cup, where it's racing for all the way around the world. That's why you have like Finland, you got uh, China, you got Ireland, uh, London, because it's the World Cup. So these are the four things that he loves, all right here. And you do look right here for the, in the Lightning McQueen window, you can see every racetrack that Lightning McQueen has ever raced on. If you look at this one right here, the Carburetor County 2000, is there's a little like a uh, bolt in there. You have to keep a sharp eye out to see every little thing. Come on. As you know, it is a tire shop, so they have all the different tires on display that you can purchase for your cars. A little homage to Buzz Lightyear, co-host Amanda's favorite tire, the Alfredo Fettuccini. 
and who can forget the white wall? So make sure when you come through this line, don't skip over this. There's all kinds of cool things to see. All right, so now we're gonna walk over to Ramones. I love Ramones, the house of body. Woo! This shop is absolutely amazing. And I wanna show you some cool things about this shop over here. Now when you walk inside, you wanna see this. Remember, Ramones is a body, auto body shop, a paint shop, right? And so come here, by the way, you have to see this. Remember, who's Ramones love flow? But look here, they have some artwork. You gotta look down the ground, and what do you see? Speckled paint all over the ground because he does paint on cars. And look, it's even splattered on the walls, all this paint. It's amazing. I've actually tried to go through here and try to, I figured there was gotta be a hidden Mickey in all these paint splotches. I've never found one, so maybe there's not. Maybe it's like on the walls. So you got to look for all the different little paint splotches here at Ramon's Body Shop. All right, so now I'm gonna walk down to Tomater's Junkyard Jamboree. It's, and I'm gonna give you one of my very favorite pieces of trivia at all the parks. This just delights me, this next piece of trivia I'm gonna give you. So, on Tomater's uh, Junkyard Jamboree, when you get on the ride, there are six different songs that uh, Mater would sing. And they had it written out for him. Uh, the, uh, Larry the Cable Guy, he does the voice for uh, Mater. They had the words written out for him for six different songs. Well, when he started one of the songs, immediately he just forgot the words and just drew a blank. But rather than stopping, he just started going, da gum, da gum, da gum, da gum. And he kind of did it as a joke. He's like, da gum, 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 da gum. They recorded the whole song like that. They loved it so much that that is now one of the songs they included. So instead of having six songs, there are seven songs that you can hear when you go on Tomato, Junkyard Jamboree. And if you're lucky, you'll hear the da gum song which was a mistake. There you go, Tomato. And during the holidays, it's called Mater's Jingle Jamboree, or the Junkyard Jamboree. But you come right out of here and you can hear those songs. One of my very favorite Hidden Mickeys is on this ride, Tomato's Junkyard Jamboree. It's made out of hubcaps. I want to turn right over here. I want you to see Sarge's Surplus Hut. So walk in here. And if you have little ones, they will really get kicked out of this. They have a diorama in here of Cars Land and a little miniature of Cars Land. I'll show you a good way to get a photo of it. So here it is. And what you're gonna do is you wanna take your camera right to the front here, lower your camera down right here. You're able to look right down Cars Land. You can see all the different characters. You can see all the lights. And if you come at nighttime, it's a little bit better. You can see it uh, really uh, pops, but you can see all the little lights in there. It's so cool. So right behind me is the Radiator Springs Curo Shop. There's some really cool trivia in this shop. Let's check it out. So you see that Catmo oil sign right there in the Curo Shop? That sign is a little homage to Dr. Ed Catmo. He was the president of Pixar Studios and Walt Disney Animation. This land is absolutely amazing. Now, the problem, I think, I'm gonna say something here. This land has, I think, caused some problems for Disney. It's so good that people absolutely love it. We love it, we love it, we love it. Everybody loves it, because how could you not? It's just so good. But here's the problem with Cars Land. The only attractions that they could ever put in here have to be related to the Cars, like IP, right? Like the Cars 1, 2, and 3 movies. And so, there's, they really, they can't expand this. Disney, when they first started doing lands, they did generic lands, Fantasyland, Tomorrowland, and stuff like that. So any, anything that could be considered fancy could be put in Fancyland, where you can't really do that here in Carsland. Interesting problem that Disney has. Not a bad problem, it's just interesting. Hey guys, I just want to take a quick moment and talk to you. And I am talking to you. And you might be thinking to yourself right now, he's not talking to me. Or we just might to skip all this message. That's fine. But I am talking to you. And I want you to know that you make the world a better place. Did you know that? And you might be asking yourself, well, how do I make the world a better place? Well, it's simple. It's because you're here. You are unique. You're amazing and you are special. And your presence makes the world better. You have great energy. And I hope you know that in your heart. And I hope that you get enough compliments in your life. And I want you to know that you're awesome. And I think you're great. All right, let's continue on the video. All right, let's uh, take a look at this beautiful mountain range right over here. I absolutely love it. Let's go look at it. All right, here we are looking at this beautiful mountain range. Now, that, and these are all different tail fins from Cadillac, which is based off the Cadillac Ranch. But this tallest one, is 125 feet tall. It's the 1959 Cadillac Telfin. And for those of the younger ones, what's a Telfin? 
back in the day in these cars at the end, like the brake lights and stuff like that, that those are the brake, that's a brake light right there. That right there, that's the brake light, and that's a little part of the tail fin right there. And um, they would make these really cool tail fins for every year of the Cadillacs and something they would just do and they don't really do that anymore. So I don't see stuff like that anymore. But anyways, that tallest one there is 125 feet tall and it is really cool. You need to come here at nighttime and look at it at nighttime because it is just absolutely, absolutely 100% gorgeous. So right behind me is the bridge that Sally and Lightning McQueen went across on their very first day. What they've done here is called forced perspective. They made the bridge and the trees around it smaller, making it look much further in the distance than it really is. The Ornament Valley and the Cadillac Telfin Ranch, that whole mountain thing is a little over 300,000 square feet. 300,000 square feet? At 300,000 square feet, that is the largest mountain range that Disney has ever built. So that's all we have for Cars Land today at Provost Park Pass. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed this video. If you haven't, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right here. Please be sure to subscribe and join the Park Pass Pro family. Ka-chow!